tell you about the feeling. I want to tell you what it looks like. The light behind my eyelids, the glitter floating there, hanging sky hovering centimeters above ground. I want to remind you of the strange face, how it is new upon viewing each time, how nothing has changed, but everything is different. The near, far distance, the last thought I think before I fall asleep, the one I can never remember. I want to tell you how I know what flying feels like and what the quiet does underwater, in the corners of a room, how the ceiling ripples, flips over, when the lines of pattern jump right up to my face, glinting. Normal is just a word for things the way we expected. Extraordinary is for what we forget. Forget what a house looks like. Forget how lines work, the difference between inside and outside. The difference between a tree and a candle wick. The difference between stars and rain on the roof. This is what I want to show you. I don't know what it is, but look, look, it's everywhere. How are y'all doing tonight? Enjoying the show so far? I heard there's going to be free food afterwards. I'm looking forward to it so much. <laughs> but before that, I have two more poems for you. Um, I'm really happy to be up here sharing poetry with you. Like, like uh, she said, I just love going to open mics and sharing my poetry. The next poem I have for you is the quintessential poet's poem where you write a poem about poetry. Everybody's got to write at least one poem about poetry. Great. Anyways, it's called New Shit. Now, if you guys don't know, like, uh, if you go to like, like a cool beatnik poetry scene, you'd say, oh, I have this poem that I just finished writing a couple days ago, and everybody in the audience would shout out, new shit. So we're going to do that right now, OK? Like, I've got a poem to share with you. It's kind of new. I just finished writing it. New, new shit. shit! All right. Welcome to the poetry scene. All right? Although this poem is not actually new. I wrote it a long time ago. It's just called new shit. That's, that's OK, though. Perpetually new. New shit. This is how I tell it to my friends, or anyone looking for advice from an amateur Good poetry is honest. It doesn't talk about things the way you're supposed to talk about them. It talks about things the way you don't know how to talk about. It uses the wrong words in the wrong place at the wrong time and makes it work. It takes some work. Flying would be easier if we all quit nailing our shoes to the ground, but that's okay, I guess. It isn't easy. Sometimes you take your toothbrush to the page. Sometimes you take off all your clothes. And that's OK, too. It's not really supposed to be pretty. You see, good poetry is a big pile of shit. Simmered down into one shit brick for everything you ever ate in your life to come back again. Shittier but yours. <laughs> take the dump. <laughs> themselves. 
people who are bright and burning and loud, so bursting at the brim that they spill out over everything they touch, people who can fill a room that I can stand next to and get drunk off of. It is such divine pleasure to be washed away in their wake to anchor myself to one heavy hand and be buffeted by waves. I love people who are overbearing enough to cover me like a comforter. Clinging, sticky people who suck me in and take up my whole field of vision. People who share their thoughts like transmittable diseases. People who <laughs> say something beautiful and blunt and messy. I love people who are rough around the edges. Who scrape my skin up all raw and tingly, make me sensitive. People who leave their fingerprints tattooed into my flesh and then help me form calluses. I love the brittle people, the ice queens. People who wear walls like a fashion statement, making mortar out of tears. People who will walk through fire and come out the other side like a burnt marshmallow, scarred hard on the surface and gooey in the middle. I love people who'd rather break than be bent crooked by this world. Those who've shattered, who've melted down and tempered themselves into something hard, sharp, and spiny, their jagged edges reflecting the light like a field of stars. I love people who are stubborn, who keep their feet rooted in the ground like weeds, people who are dull and hard as rocks growing crystals inside. People who breathe and build and bolster under pressure until they bleed diamonds. The bullheads will throw themselves headlong, headstrong at a brick wall, and the wall will flinch first. They say that insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results, but what if it works? I love the people that can make it work. People who grow into the cracks between rocks and hard places and make the smallest molehill into a mountain. I love people who contradict themselves. People who are a mess of extremities, mercurial, capricious creatures that don't believe in honesty, liars who only ever tell the truth, fence hoppers, fast burners, people who don't know how to do anything halfway but still end up sleeping in no man's land. People with nuclear fusion personalities made from antimatter bones and hydrogen skin. I love people who know what they want and despise what they need. People who cross stars off their to-do list. There is something ultimately human about denial, blatant, bold-faced unacceptance of immutable circumstance. I love the railers, those wild ones. Angry, brave enough to stare down the endless tunnel of infinity and take it as a challenge. People who are held together by gum and string and paper clips and never pull their punches. I love people who are oblivious and sensitive. I love people who are who they are even when they don't know what that is. I love people who are who they are and who they aren't and everything else in between. I love people who are real and people who are fake and people who feel like they are aliens or monsters or gods. People whose insides are outside the bounds of mortal understanding who are only pretending to be human. I love people with their teeth bare, trying to smile.